what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about buffy season three buffy season three really does again another season where everything is being upped in a way buffy is reeling from the finale of season two becoming part two and becoming part one where she had to unfortunately put angel and jealous at the time who reverted back to angel put him down and had her heartbreak she moved across she didn't move across but she moved back to la she's been living on her own uh, trying to make ends meet trying to cope with the loss of her first love she returns to sunnydale for her senior year she's welcomed back into school after a little bit of a spat between herself her mother and principal snyder takes place and a little bit of authority put in place from giles uh we are introduced to a new slayer that has also arrived in town which makes things a little bit more interesting in this season we are introduced to the character of faith lahane who I know a lot of you love this character. I love this character. Faith is like the polar opposite or like a mirror reflection of what Buffy could have been if she didn't have the things in her life, if she didn't have Giles, if she didn't have a mother, if she didn't have a loving home or a group of friends that are always there with her, if she had been just dealt a whole lot of bad things along with now being granted slayer powers this is what buffy could have ended up like faith is a very interesting character that we are introduced to in season three and she kind of is on the fence at first she seems like there's clearly something off with her and it's made abundantly clear with how aggressive she is with her slain clearly a lot of trauma she's dealt with in her life that she touches on briefly as we get to know her she starts to feel a little bit shunned by the group the Scoobies in this case as this, as the season progresses she ends up switching to the dark side and we see her character development play out not only on Buffy in this season but it carries over into season four it carries over into Angel season one she does show up again in Angel only to return later on to have everything resolved with Buffy in later on in this season or in this series very interesting character here with faith i love the dynamic between herself and buffy how they both don't really seem to understand each other until they're able to actually be put in each other's shoes and that's honestly a situation that happens later on in this in the series they're both are forced to see things from each other's perspective now now that they're in one another's shoes literally something that happens later on in the series and of course i'll get into once we get to season four but Eliza Dushku she does an amazing job as Faith and when she reverts to the dark side she joins forces with our new big bad for this season Mayor Richard Wilkins who we come to find out has been the mayor for quite some time in Sunnydale Sunnydale was built on this hellmouth as we know where he made a deal with them in return he would have this town and he give the demons a, a city or a town to feed on and he's been working on what's called the ascension this ascension where he will ascend into a purebred demon in this case in this universe they're referred to as old ones a purebred demon who is going to be the pure embodiment of just a demon altogether not a hybrid of a human and a demon like what we are accustomed to seeing in this series we're introduced to several new different characters we're introduced to anya spike makes an appearance once again in an episode called lover's walk there's a lot of standouts in this season the episodes lover's walk uh the zeppo where we have a xander centered episode where he's kind of reflecting on whether or not he's a valuable valuable member to this to this uh group the scoobies since he kind of doesn't offer much of anything willow is kind of ascending into her own status and contribute contributions to the whole slaying process now with buffy as she's diving into the whole magic world after successfully restoring angel's soul at the end of season two and xander just kind of feels left out and then we have this episode titled the zeppo where we get to hang out with xander get to see him more and how this how things look on his perspective because he's like on the outside looking in with a lot of things that goes on in this episode so it's a nice little episode there with him we have the prom where buffy has one of her most amazing moments to date in this in this series angel is back somehow after the events of season two he is back somehow that is developed a little bit more over the course of this season and into the angel tv series itself we don't know for certain what actually led to him coming back but he's back and he is getting involved once again with buffy their relationship isn't really looking too good although because at the end of the day what's going to end up happening is they'll end up leaving town not leaving town angel will end up leaving town and he'll go to la where he'll start his own little series there uh so their relationship kind of fizzling out and like i said before 
there is a dynamic between Buffy and Faith where it's like Faith is literally like a mirror image of what Buffy could be like if she didn't have all of these good qualities in her life that kept her on the right path. Whereas Faith has a little bit more of a dark edge to her. And we get a depiction of this in an episode titled Doppelgangerland or The Wish. Actually, it's titled The Wish, where we see what Buffy is like if she never came to Sunnydale after Cordelia Chase makes a wish to Anya, who at the time was a vengeance demon. And it's just like another parallel to those uh similarities of what Buffy could have been or like a, a mirror reflection of what she could have been if she had been dealt the cards of what faith had been dealt with nothing having her no one having her back feeling like she is always made out to be not necessarily the bad guy because she just looked a little run down when we saw her in the wish the character of Buffy looks run down so we got to see like a depiction of what she could be like if she was more reminiscent to being faith as a character best one of the better series finales or season finales in this case with graduation day where we're saying goodbye to the high school days the school is going to be put to bed literally it's going to be blown up so i'm diving into a lot of spoilers in this review so i probably should have done a spoiler warning but at this point i this is a very uh dated series it's woven into the pop culture i'm pretty sure a lot of you who are watching this review you've seen it you love it you love season three probably season three definitely is up there for me and some of my favorite seasons one of the best again a lot of progression character wise for buffy a lot of progression and a new dynamic is developed between herself and faith and faith is another very interesting heartwarming character that we'll all get to love i love the character i know a lot of you probably don't love this character because of how she comes across and the things that she does but it's the way that we're reminded of just how complex life can be and we have a character like faith who is basically an embodiment of that and it's nice to see her redemption arc that comes later on in the series so those are my thoughts on buffy season three i think this is a very well done season a nice again step in the right direction uh i'll be getting into season four soon on this channel if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification name this video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video